Back in the old days, when you installed a server, you installed it on a piece of bare metal. When you installed it, you put it on a hard drive and you installed all the right device drivers. And ultimately what happened is that operating system itself got tightly coupled to that piece of hardware. Then something interesting happened. They said, well, what happens if we can put this in a container and start to move it outside of the physical hardware so that the hardware itself doesn't matter? Because remember that once you tie it to the physical hardware, if you need to move it, let's say the hardware goes bad, it's a tremendous amount of work to port that onto another piece of hardware. You need a system administrator to do all that work, and generally it'll take at least a day or at least multiple hours to accomplish that task. So then virtualization came along. What did virtualization really do? It created the idea of a, of a container where you can keep the operating system. Now the operating system used to be bound to the hardware, so now let's generalize the hardware and then emulate it inside another system. So now what used to be the operating system on the bare metal is now sitting inside of this container. Once it's in a container, things get really interesting. The container can now be part of a larger system. This container has everything the operating system needs. Most importantly, it also contains the, op the application itself and all of the dependencies of that application. So you can now move this around, you can copy it, you can clone it, you can migrate it without the application even being aware that you're doing this.